Learning muscle names and actions is an important foundation for any student interested in the medical field. We begin with the muscles responsible for hip adduction, flexion, and internal rotation. Most students learn and remember best by associating new information with something already known, remembered, have seen, or heard. Anatomic Cartoons mnemonics creates a ridiculous mental image, a cartoon that when described sounds like the muscle name you need to remember. Such as, this cartoon becomes a duck wearing long johns, a doctor longus. We place cartoons in a working group to perform each joint action. The three working sites for the 11 anterior hip muscle actions includes a site in which muscles are squeezing an apple for pectin to make apple jelly, representing adduction. The next site is an American football field goal for flexion, where the main character, Iliosoas, kicks Pectinius over the goalpost. And the third working site is a dance studio, where a dance class is attempting to learn ballet, representing internal hip rotation. The location of each muscle is displayed on a Rudiger anatomic human skeleton, where the beginning or origin of the muscle is painted red and the insertion or pulling site is painted blue. The left panel is photographed from the front and the right panel from the back. The left panel insert displays more muscle origin sites, whereas the right panel insert displays longer muscle insertion sites. All are photographed and published under permission from Anatomy Warehouse, Evanston, Illinois. Let's start learning the muscle names through cartoons. You already know the first. What do you see? A duck wearing long johns. A doctor longus. Let's keep going. What do you see? A duck wearing men's briefs. A doctor brevis. What do you see? A magnificent magician duck. A doctor magnus. What do you see? A medium sized glutton. Gluteus medius. What do you see? A minimum sized glutton. Gluteus minimus. What do you see? A strip of grass. Grassalus. What do you see? An ill-looking bird that might have trouble soaring. Iliosoas. What do you see? An apple loaded with pectin to make apple jelly. Pectinius. What do you see? A beautiful woman, a femme fatale, with a broken or wrecked arm. Rectus femoris. What do you see? A Taurus bull who thinks he's the czar of bulls. Zartorius. What do you see? A fashionable latte cup to squeeze when tense. Tensor fasciolata. In hip adduction, the leg and hip moves sideways back toward the midline of the body. While Miss Hip Adduction and her team of five squeezing muscles watch, the skeleton demonstrates hip adduction. Next to the special adduction squeezer, supported on gracilis grass, whose muscle begins from the inside arm of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls just below the inside upper surface on the back of the tibia, lower leg, just below the joint. And atop the squeezer is a rosy red apple, ready to have its pectin removed, pectineus, whose muscle begins from the upper surface middle limb of the pelvis and pulls just below the iliopsoas, high on the inside of the femur. The weight of three muscles squeeze pectineus. The first is a duck wearing long johns, a ductor longus, whose muscle begins from the under surface of the junction of the middle and lower limbs of the pelvis 
and pulls on the lower third of the inside surface on the back of the femur. The second muscle lending its weight is a duck wearing men's briefs, a ductor brevis, whose muscle begins just behind the adductor longus on the undersurface of the junction of the middle and lower limbs of the pelvis and pulls on the upper half of the inside surface on the back of the femur. The third and last muscle lending its weight to squeeze pectineus is a majestic magician duck, a ductor magnus, whose muscle begins on the bottom surface of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls on the posterior surface of the femur, as well as a second site on the inner surface of the femur just above the knee joint hip adduction muscles squeezing together, making pectin flow. Let's compare the five muscles responsible for hip adduction, gracilis, adductor magnus, adductor longus, adductor brevis, and pectineus. Only gracilis crosses both the hip and knee joint. The most powerful adductors are adductor longus followed by adductor magnus and adductor brevis. Note the upward and inward pull of all five muscles. The adductor magnus fibers pulling from just above the knee joint also allows its contribution to flexion and extension. Picture in your mind the five muscles that adduct the hip and name them. Here are some hints. A duck wearing long johns, a duck wearing men's briefs, a magician duck, a apple that could have something in it, and a strip of grass. A ductor longus, a ductor brevis, a ductor magnus, pectineus, and gracilis. Did you miss any? In hip flexion, the leg and hips move forward, while Miss Hip Flexion watches, and the skeleton demonstrates hip flexion. A hip flexing, ill soaring vulture, iliosoas, whose muscle begins from the lower vertebrae and pelvis and pulls high on the inside of the femur, the upper leg bone, kicks a pectin filled apple. Pectineus, whose muscle begins from the upper surface middle limb of the pelvis and pulls just below the iliopsoas, high on the inside of the femur, and kicked off grass, Gracilis, whose muscle begins from the inside arm of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls just below the inside upper surface on the back of the tibia, lower leg, just below the joint. Iliosoas's teammates, a duck with a long shirt and long johns, a ductor longus, whose muscle begins from the under surface of the junction of the middle and lower limbs of the pelvis and pulls on the lower third of the inside surface on the back of the femur and a duck wearing briefs, adductor brevis, whose muscle begins just behind the adductor longusus on the undersurface of the junction of the middle and lower limbs of the pelvis and pulls on the upper half of the inside surface on the back of the femur, will help guide pectineus for the field goal. The defensive team includes a feminine fatale with a rect arm, rectus femoris, whose muscle begins on the outer edge of the lower surface of the pelvis just above the hip joint and pulls on the front surface of the tibia just below the knee joint. And a standing bull who believes he's the czar of bulls, Zartorius, whose muscle begins on the outer edge of the pelvis just above the rectus femoris's origin and pulls on the inner ridge of the tibia just below the knee joint, holding a squeeze coffee tensor fascia lata attempting to block the field goal, whose muscle begins on the upper back surface of the pelvis just below its bottom edge and pulls on the fascia dense tissue 
part of the iliotibial band attached to the outer surface of the tibia just below the knee joint. The warm-up, the kicking team, the team on defense, the hike and goal. Here are the eight muscles that normally flex the hip. You have seen four in the hip adduction. Four more are added beginning with I, T, F, L, R, F, and S. Can you name all eight? Here are hints of the four new ones. An ill-soaring bird, a fashionable latte cup you can squeeze, a beautiful feminine fatale with a wrecked arm, and a Taurus bull who thinks he's a czar. Adductor longus, adductor brevis, iliosoas, pectineus, gracilis, tensor fasciolata, rectus femoris, and sartorius. Did you miss any? For longer field goals, a magician duck, a ductor magnus, adds to the strength of flexion. Its muscle begins on the bottom surface of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls on the posterior surface of the femur as well as a second site on the inner surface of the femur just above the knee joint. The nine muscles responsible for hip flexion are arranged from longest to shortest. Note the four longest, Zartorius, rectus femoris, tensor fasciolata, and gracilis, cross both the hip and knee joints and will have a role in knee movements. The fifth, adductor magnus, is repeated with the final four muscles for comparison. Muscles numbers six to eight, adductor longus, adductor brevis, and pectineus are progressively shorter. Iliopsoas muscles, number nine, although not the shortest in length, is inserted highest on the femur, is the strongest flexor, and pulls from two sources, the vertebrae and the saucer-like surface of the pelvis. In strong flexion, a new kicker is added. What muscle do you remember? Here is your hint. Adductor magnus. Did you get it? In hip internal rotation, the leg and hip rotate inward. In her ballet studio, Miss Internal Rotation is trying to teach at least two of the eight muscles, gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, to get up on their toes on point, and then directs all eight to watch the skeleton demonstrate internal hip rotation. Trying hard to get on his toes is a mid-sized glutton, gluteus medius, whose muscle begins on the upper half of the posterior pelvis and pulls on the lateral surface of the elbow-like projection called the greater trochanter on the femur just below the hip joint. Trying to stay on her toes is his sister, a minimum size glutton, gluteus minimus, whose muscle begins on the lower half of the posterior pelvis and pulls on the lower half of the front or anterior surface of the elbow-like projection called the greater trochanter on the femur just below the hip joint. It seems this class also has a class clown, a duck dressed as a majestic magician, a ductor magnus, whose muscle begins on the bottom surface of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls on the posterior surface of the femur, as well as a second site on the inner surface of the femur just above the knee joint. He's juggling a nice red apple filled with pectin, pectineus, whose muscle begins from the upper surface middle limb of the pelvis and pulls just below the iliopsoas, high on the inside of the femur. Standing on the bar, the studio's stationary handrail, and watching is a duck in long johns, a ductor longus.
whose muscle begins from the under surface of the junction of the middle and lower limbs of the pelvis and pulls on the lower third of the inside surface on the back of the femur. When gluteus medius latte cup drops, to the rescue comes a duck wearing men's briefs, a ductor brevis, whose muscle begins just behind the adductor longusus on the under surface of the junction of the middle and lower limbs of the pelvis and pulls on the upper half of the inside surface on the back of the femur. Unfortunately, adductor brevis's arrival knocks over the squeezed latte cup of coffee, tensor fascia lata, whose muscle begins on the upper back surface of the pelvis just below its bottom edge and pulls on the fascia, dense tissue, part of the iliotibial band, to the outer surface of the tibia just below the knee joint. Tensor fascia latus spill coffee can flow to trip up gluteus medius or toward the decorative studio grass gracilis, whose muscle begins from the inside arm of the lower limb of the pelvis and pulls just below the inside upper surface on the back of the tibia, lower leg, just below the joint. Let's watch the ballet of internal hip rotation again. Let's compare five of the eight muscles responsible for hip internal rotation. Gracilis, adductor magnus, adductor longus, adductor brevis, and pectineus. All five muscles contribute equally to hip internal rotation. Gracilis is one of two of the eight that cross the knee joint. Anterior muscle fibers of the remaining three muscles, tensor fascia lata, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus, better seen on the side view, are thought to be stronger contributors to hip internal rotation. Tensor fascia lata is the second muscle that crosses the knee joint. The left panel demonstrates normal hip position. The second panel, hip internal rotation, showing the red muscle origin sites and blue muscle insertion sites rotating right to left. Eight muscles internally rotate the hip. Six you've already looked at. There are two new. Do you know them? Here are your hints for the eight muscles. Do you know the last two? Adductor longus, adductor brevis, adductor magnus, pectineus, gracilis, tensor fascia lata, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus. Five of the eleven muscles active in hip adduction, flexion, and internal rotation begin or originate from the front of the pelvis. Note the clock-like origins of muscles on panel 1 through 4, better seen in the upper inserts. Whereas origin rotation continues to the vertebrae and main pelvis in the fifth panel. On the bottom of each panel, also note the pulling point or insertion of the five muscles as they approach closer to the hip joint. Now, name the muscles represented in panel 1 through 5. All muscles in panel 1 through 4 support hip adduction, hip flexion, and hip internal rotation. Can you remember their role in making pectin, kicking a field goal, or attending a ballet school? The muscle in panel 5 only supports one action of the hip. Do you remember which? The four muscles in panel 1 through 4 are active in hip adduction, flexion, and or internal rotation. Can you name them? They begin or originate from edges of the pelvis. Note the counterclock-like movement of the muscle origins around the edges of the pelvis.
The upper insert in panel 1 is from the bottom of the pelvis, and inserts panel 2 through 4 are from the back of the pelvis. Panel 5 from the side showing the tensor fascia lata muscle. Our last two muscles are seen from both the front and the side. Can you name them? What action do they support? Sharp-eyed viewers, can you find in this video where Adductor longus lost his long johns, Adductor magnus becomes shirtless, Iliosoas is sitting, or where Sartorius becomes a tailor. Douglas J. Ware is producer and narrator, Sherry Eichelberger is the artist, and the skeleton is Rudiger Anatomy Premium Human Skeleton with flexible spine, muscle painting, and arteries from Anatomy Warehouse, Evanston, Illinois. So let's get started. Subscribe now!